we may be unaware of the problems in our surroundings, especially the problems that are present in our own city, Jakarta. What was the first thing that popped up into your mind when you were asked to describe Jakarta? Most people would answer that Jakarta is a city full of traffic jams, anytime, anywhere. There is also this never-ending problem that persists in Jakarta, which is corruption. What's the next thing after traffic jams and corruption that most people will think about Jakarta? The answer will be something they see every day, something that was already on their subconscious minds. If you guess the answer was trash, you guessed right. It seems that the habit of littering has not disappeared among the citizens of Jakarta, especially among younger people. In a while, you will find out how does our ignorance toward our surroundings affect our beloved city. Traffic jams are the norm of Jakarta. Without traffic jams, Jakarta is not a city as we know it today. Jakarta is a busy city, moreover because it is the largest city and the capital of our country, Indonesia. With a population of 9.59 million as of 2014, no wonder that the streets are filled with both cars and motorcycles daily. With only legal residents counted, the population of Jakarta doubled from 4.5 million in 1970 to more than 9.5 million in 2010. Jakarta is now becoming starved for resources by its own population, which is ever growing. By 2020, the population of Greater Jakarta or Jabodetabek is expected to grow from 25 million to 35 million, with a mass migration that will further worsen the problems of residents, including poor sanitation, a lack of housing, and transportation issues. Aside from population, another cause of traffic jams would be the person's dependence on personal transportation such as personal cars and motorcycles. Indonesia today faces an enormous problem related to corruption. Almost every day we read in the newspapers about corruption cases implicating state officials. Given Indonesia's shift to democracy more than a decade ago, Many have been tempted to question whether rampant corruption during this period is actually the fruit of democracy. Democracy encourages rent-seeking behavior among business people and politicians. Politicians need money to win elections, and the business people provide the money to the politicians. After the politicians are elected, they pay back the money to business people in the forms of privileges and benefits from state policies. As a consequence, elected politicians do not care about the interests of their constituents, such as poverty eradication, improvement of healthcare, and education. They just think how to pay back the cost of the election process. 
In reality, this isn't a democracy, it's an oligarchy. Indonesia shows that most of the political elite and leaders focus on debating against each other and how to obtain power rather than how to develop Indonesia's economy. A little example of corruption's effects is the poor roads construction in Jakarta. Have you ever wondered why the roads in Jakarta are so easily damaged after some mild rain? Roads are supposed to have a lifetime of up to 10 years. Corruptors may misuse the money given to construct the roads by using less and poorer materials to construct roads, therefore explaining the reason why the quality of the roads in Jakarta are so poor. Construction of Jakarta's roads left many thoroughfares damaged and potholed during the rainy season, endangering motorists. Roads should be given special attention because they play a significant role in economic growth. If the country's infrastructure remains poor, growth will remain low potential. Pendapat Bapak tentang korupsi di Indonesia? Dapat korupsi ya. E, kalau menurut saya sih harusnya tidak terjadi untuk banyak korupsi gitu. Harus dibasmi aja. Okay. Karena itu tidak apa namanya akan membangun negara yang berkembang ini. Gitu. Nah, solusi untuk pencegahan korupsi di Indonesia menurut Bapak gimana? Ya, harus diperketat ya di pemerintahan utama ya pejabat-pejabatnya itu yang harus diawasin The rainy season is here, and the one thing the citizens of Jakarta fear most is flooding. Floods have the ability to paralyze traffic and increase the spread of diseases. Jakarta is prone to floods due to the growing number of buildings, the proliferation of concrete, and less space for water to sink in, among other things. But one of the biggest contributing factors to floods is rubbish blocking the drains. Put your rubbish in the bin. But sad thing is, once we become adults, we either forget the lesson or we just don't care. Or maybe we are not aware of the consequences. Sadly, many Jakartans are chronic litterers, no matter our background, educated or undereducated, rich or poor. What's so hard about throwing your rubbish in the bin? Are people in the city that lazy? Don't blame the government if your house got flooded. Don't say it's a punishment from God if you caught a disease because of the flood. It was all the people who littered, including yourself. After all, it's all action and reaction. To solve the problem, when you do see a rubbish bin, you can dispose of your garbage there. It's that simple. You can also encourage others to do the simple change of habit. Mbak pernah buang sampah sembarangan nggak? Ya pernah. Seberapa sering? Hmm, sering sih kalau lagi di jalan, kalau lagi ini lah paket gitu di jalan. Bapak pernah buang sampah sembarangan nggak? Ya, saya rasa 
pernah sih cuma satu kali gitu itu pun satu kali tempat sembarangan kayak gitu ya. menurut mbak apa dampak dari buang sampah sembarangan uh, menimbulkan banjir terus jalanannya kotor kotnya jadi mampet sama sampah jadi menumpuk traffic jams are a true annoyance in Jakarta helping this huge problem you could do your part by taking public transport such as angkots or buses as a motorcyclist you could better your attitude on this corruption is also a huge problem you could do your part by exercising your vote and electing the right people to office we often ignore what we do in our surroundings our ignorance leads to everyday problems that we often complain about. Do your part to make the time. Okay, we we you know going on our journey. We're checking out the whole traffic. You know Jakarta? Oh, this is Jakarta. Welcome to Jakarta, man. Okay, now. Nah. Okay, stop, 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 Pas sembarangan tuh, tahu tuh bisa berapa. Kita lihat nih, orang itu sampahnya balik ke dia mau kemana? Rasain. We may be unaware that we ignore our actions towards our surroundings. Our ignorance leads to everyday problems that we often complain about. Do our part, we could always love them. We may, we may not aware, not novice, that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>